What's going on guys, welcome back to our channel and thank you for hitting up this video. Today we are going to be discussing a very well known product um, within the SARM market and that is RAD140, also known as Testolone. Now before we go into the video guys, just got to put it out there that this video is for informational and educational purposes only uh, because RAD140 is not for human consumption. However, if you do have a lab rat and it is quite excited to test out the benefits of this product, then do carry on and we'll dive straight into it. So RAD140 was initially created by scientists to help prevent muscle wastage. Um, there is quite a history uh, behind this, but we won't go into that just in this video, simply because this video is going to be short and simple um, and straight to the point, highlighting some of the side effects as well as the number of benefits associated with RAD140. Now, over the last sort of five to sort of six years, SARMs have taken over the market quite rapidly, and that is massively due to the benefits associated with them. So, for example, RAD140 on the one hand here um, massively increases your lean muscle mass, increases your strength, burns fat, as well as increasing your muscle recovery time with very little to no side effects. Now, from all of the points that I've just listed here, guys, one of the key things to take away from this is the fact that there are little to no side effects um, from taking RAD140 in comparison to taking other uh, forms of performance enhancers like steroids, for example. Now, with steroids, we know that they can lead to hair loss, they can lead to issues with your heart, your liver, as well as a number of other side effects. Whereas uh, with, with stuff like RAD140 and with SARMs, um, although there are some side effects, they are very, very minimal in comparison and the advantages do far outweigh them. So if you're looking to get your lab rat jacked or if he's looking to get ripped for the summer, then this might be the product uh, that, they, that they would be needing. So RAD140 increases your lean muscle mass, increases your strength um, as well as your size, as well as helping you burn fat. But what are the side effects? Now, one of the main side effects that you might notice with RAD140 is the fact that it does suppress your natural testosterone levels and hormone levels. Now, obviously, RAD140 is a suppressive SOM, so it would be recommended to do a PCT straight after doing a cycle on this. Um, from experience and also uh, reading a lot online as well, a lot of people do tend to cycle this from 8 to 12 weeks. I wouldn't typically go for the 12 weeks option simply because that is quite a lengthy period of time to be on RAD140, especially if it suppresses your testosterone. But around about an eight week cycle on RAD140 would be the ideal amount. Now at the end of this uh, cycle, you would be needing to take a PCT. We will do another video on PCT and what exactly that is and how that can benefit you and why you should be taking that. Now, if your lab rat is pretty hyped up and he wants to bulk up, uh, the ideal dosage for this would be around about 20 to 30 milligrams daily for the entire course of the cycle of around about eight weeks. At the end of those eight weeks, do take a four week break in which you will need to run a PCT. We will provide some links in the description box below where you can obtain the, the PCT and the ones that we think would be the most suitable and most effective. If on the other hand, your lab rat is looking to get shredded or a lot more leaner or burn body fat, um, the ideal dose for this would be around about 10 to 20 milligrams per day, again for around about eight weeks. At the end of this, again, lab rat would need to be taking a PCT. Um, however, with RAD140, it is one of the popular ones um, and it is quite, quite good in the sense that you can stack it with a number of other SOMs. Now, some of the most popular um, stacks that everyone seems to uh, blend this with is LGD4033. Now, because RAD140 is suitable for uh, when you're bulking up or when you're cutting, it is quite a popular option to have this stacked with a number of other SOMs. So if you're looking at stacking, um, one of the most popular ones is stacking it with LGD4033, RAD140 and YK11. Now this is quite a powerful uh, stack and that will yield you really good and amazing results. So there we have it guys, a quick overview on RAD140. Um, one of the main things you've got to remember always with any supplement that you're taking or consuming 
is to do your own research on these um, so that you know exactly what to expect and what to do during the course of the cycle or during the course of taking that supplement. The main thing that you've got to remember is that you should be feeling at ease when you're taking the SOM. It shouldn't make you feel uncomfortable. You shouldn't get any sort of um, unexpected sort of side effects from them. Um, there are more benefits uh, than, than downsides to this. So if you do have any other questions, do leave them in the comment section below. I do hope that you found this video useful. There will be a number of other videos coming out soon. So please do hit the like and subscribe button and follow us for a lot more.